the components required for this experiment are node mc board four channel relay four bulbs connecting wires and connecting cable Now log into the blink.cloud website. Then go to developer zone, click on new template and here give the template name. Then select the hardware as ESP8266 and connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the done button. Now go to data streams. Here we need to create four variables because we are using a four channel relay. So go to new data stream and click on the digital pin. Here give the pin name. I am giving the name as switch1 and select the pin number as 5. Because in the program we are defining the pin number as D1, D2, D3 and D4. So in the blink data stream we need to give the GPIO pin number. For example if the pin is D1. Then the GPIO pin is 5. So we are giving 5. Then click on the create button. Now create the second data stream. Again go to new data stream and select digital pin. Here give the name as switch2. And here we need to select the pin as 4. Because here the second uh, pin is D2. That means D2 means GPIO 4. So we are selecting 4. And again click on the create button. Now select the create the third one. Here also select the digital pin and give the name as switch 3. And here we need to select the pin number as here the pin number is D3. So, so D3 means GPIO 0. So select 0. And click create now the fourth one which is the final one. Here give the name as switch 4 and the pin number is D4. 
so that means gpio2 so select 2 and click on the create button now go to web dashboard and drag four switch widgets 1 2 the third one and the fourth one now go to the settings of the each of these uh, widgets and assign the variables go to first one here switch one and then click on the save button now second one here we need to select the switch two and like that assign the other variables and the final one switch four now the template is created now click on the save button now go to devices and click new device and select from template here we can see the template which we created home automation using esp8266 and then click on the create button now copy this template id template name and authentication token and paste in your program then enter the wi-fi username and wi-fi password and now select the board from tools go to board and here select esp8266 and the version node mz 1.0 and then select the port and now click this arrow button and upload the program to the node mcu board now the program is successfully uploaded to the node mcu board now we can set up the blink mobile dashboard for that download the blink iot application from the play store now open the application and here we can see the template which we created from the blink web dashboard now click on the template and then click the settings button here click the plus button and add the four button widgets 1 2 3 and 4 now click on the first button and here select the data stream first we need to select switch 1 and select the button mode as switch then go back and select the second one and here we need to select the switch 2 and here also select the button mode as switch and go back and for the third button select the data stream as switch 3 and button mode as switch and now the fourth one which is the final one here we need to select the data stream switch 4 that is d2 pin number d2 and here select the button mode as switch now go back and again click the back button now the mobile dashboard setup is completed and now we can check the output